Hey, greetings. Welcome back to the Drummond Channel. It's Wednesday afternoon, about, uh, I guess about 5 30, 6 o'clock on the East Coast. And let's check in with uh, what we were looking at in crude oil and what we were looking at in the NASDAQ on the previous video. And I think, uh, you know, things are playing out as expected. So let's get started. First up is crude oil and you know, we we're talking about this area here on, on the weekly chart being the target for the downside. And that's, that's what we got. Uh, same thing over here, you can see it on the daily chart. Now, how did you know when this move down was over? And that's what, that's what this Holy Grail software is gonna tell us. On this 240 minute chart, you know, this bar came down into zone six, I'm sorry, zone one. It came down into the oncoming and it held on close. The next bar, same drill, got down into zone one, the oncoming held, and then we closed up here in a small C wave to the upside. Okay, so this move is down, this move down is complete because where did it happen? It happened in higher time period support. So we knew where this market was headed, and now we have confirmation on the 240 minute chart that the move down is complete. And this new bar, you can see how the center point held, the PL dot held, and now we're pushing up, up above into, uh, up above the daily PL dot. What can we expect for tomorrow? Well, let's draw in some drumming lines here. Gonna have a five one up right there at the daily PL dot and expect this area to hold. So that's the downside target right in this area. And first upside target, daily and weekly envelope top and then monthly envelope top. So we'll see how that plays out and update this as, as needed. And now for the NASDAQ, uh, again, we said downside target, uh, weekly envelope bottom and monthly envelope top. Uh, that's exactly where we, where we are over here on the hourly chart. You can see how the market reacted to that higher time period support. Now, in terms of causality, there are some news releases that came out at market close. So, you know, that's what the talking heads would like you to think is that the market was reacting to the news. Uh, Drummond traders know that this area is a, uh, a strong area of support and the market has reacted to it. And going back to the daily chart, what can we expect for tomorrow? Well, we've got a 5-1 up there at the daily PL dot, very similar to what we saw in the crude oil chart. And then upside target is daily envelope top. And again, the yearly envelope top is coming back in play. Uh, at this point, you know, with all the, the monthly energy pushing up, the quarterly, the yearly pushing up, uh, this market looks like we've had nothing more than an A, a B, and a C correction and higher prices are to come. Uh, we'll have to see how it negotiates this daily envelope top, but I expect we're gonna see daily congestion. And there's one other thing I should point out here. I should be pointing out also that there is a, a weekly PL dot down here. So upside target, upside target, and then yearly envelope top. Uh, that, that's, that's what I'm looking at for tomorrow's range. And again, I expect this area down here to hold. Okay, that's it for today. Uh, pretty quick, but pretty simple. Uh, we make what we say at Drum and Geometry is we make the hidden market structure visible. And that's what we got. Uh, you know, you're looking at uh, on, the, on the NASDAQ that monthly PL, to, or I'm sorry, that monthly envelope top and weekly envelope bottom and seeing how the market reacted in that area. So, you know, as a drum and trader, you have that information on your chart and it's a matter of watching the lower time periods and seeing how that's playing out. And as we saw in crude oil in the 240 minute chart, you know, the market reacted very strongly to that uh, weekly PL dot refresh zone. So again, uh, we're looking at information the average trader is not looking at. So that's it for today. If you have any questions, please let me know and post them in the comment section. Thank you for watching and we'll see you again next time.